like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell. And uh, enjoy this video. Well, I'm on the 04. Let me see if I can get some of this sun off my face. I'm at the oven. Yeah, this ain't going to go down far enough. I really need them window curtains. same place <clears throat> now everything was working good I got to my I, I went ahead and did my O2 I got there early and it wasn't supposed to deliver till this morning at 4 a.m. so I got there yesterday uh, I can't remember what time but anyways they started uh, they opened at 2 a.m. So at, I set my clock for you know before that, and when I got up at 2 a.m., I ran inside and I checked in. She's like, "Pull into door one." So I pull into door one. We only had two pallets, uh, 37 uh, items coming off the truck, so they unloaded me in like 10 hey, minutes. Please stay to command. Lisa just talked to me. That's weird. She told me to stay to command. Um, so I must have said something. I didn't get that. Please stay to command. I must have said something to her that uh, got her all excited. Um, so anyways, uh, we go ahead and get unloaded early. I'm unloaded Would you by... Would like to continue? No, please, leave me alone. Oh, let me turn you down. Okay. So we got unloaded early. I was unloaded by... 2.45 maybe. Goodbye. Bye. Crazy lady. So I went ahead and uh, did my depart call and bolted out of there and I got to my 03 early. Oh god what time did I get to my 03? It was about an hour's drive. So I was at my 03 at I don't know whatever it was. 5 o'clock maybe 6 o'clock. Um, I don't know uh, how long. But anyways, <clears throat> I go in there and I check in. And they're like, go to door 31, between 28 and 31. And just wait there for us to come on, uh, break your seal. So I'm like, sweet. Because that one wasn't supposed to uh, deliver till 1 p.m. today. So I went ahead and delivered that load early. Got out of there, and now that was my 03. Now my 0490, which was a mile and a half up the road, it delivers tomorrow at 5 a.m. So I go in there today at hell. I don't even know what time it was. Well, I can tell you right now. Let's see what my arrival call was. Did I do an arrival call? Uh, okay, it was uh, three, two, one. It was one o'clock today. I arrived here. That's what time I was supposed to get, you know, unloaded there. So I went in there and the guy looks at his thing. He goes, you know what? He goes, we're too busy to take you early today. He goes, so you're going to have to wait till uh, 3 a.m. before you can check in tomorrow morning. So I got lucky with all of them except the 04 and the 90. Um, so we're sitting here until tomorrow morning. But I'll have a full clock once we leave here. So hopefully we can... I'm hoping for a pre-plan is what I'm hoping for. But if not, hopefully they'll get us something out of here. Uh, maybe with a few miles to get to the 01. Just so we can, you know, if they unload us too early here. Well, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eh, that should be fine. Um, we won't we'll have a hard... We'll have a hard time getting a wash out. Um... But if it's a little ways away, it gives you some opportunities for different washouts. Maybe even a 24-hour or one that opens early. So we've been sitting here kind of cleaning up the truck. Um, moving things around. And, uh, um, you know, just doing our thing. The truck's still an absolute disaster area. You know, needing, uh, needing things 
find spots for some different things. Um, I guess it's not an absolute disaster. It's just cluttered. Um, but that's that's our update. You know, hopefully, hopefully we can uh, get a good load out of here. We are. I, I let my fleet manager know that we want to go back to uh, Springfield um, August 30th through the 1st, which is three days, because on the 31st they're having the picnic over there, and we want to go see what that's all about, see my daughter and whatnot. And uh, um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll probably. maybe see about a hotel but I bet unless we reserve one way in advance they're probably all going to be taken up and we'll end up having to stay in the truck so I guess once I get confirmation that it's good we'll maybe we'll stay in a hotel for a night or two just to get out of the truck and uh, do that all right guys again like comment subscribe ring that bell um, I hope you enjoy some of these videos that are going to be coming up. We're still not in the video making mode really because we're still, you know, we're still adjusting to um, getting the truck cleaned out and adjusting to uh, running together. I, I'll be downright honest. She really don't care about my YouTube and she's all about her YouTube and her uh, Instagram. I am not. She is too. No, Everything I'm not. she's doing. Any of those <laughs> pictures I've been putting on well, my I've Instagram. Been here. I've been playing with uh, looking for houses in Texas. You know that. She's she's freaking uh, um, um, forwarded them to me because she's you know doing her thing. But yeah, she needs to get this camera out while we're going down the road and do our thing. Oh, you have to tell me. Um, hold on, hold on. It won't fit in there. You're gonna. Now she's trying to jam her phone into a too small of a spot and gonna break her the glass on it some more. Now you can put it in there. I just had to move that. Women. Um, we'll probably get her a new phone before we go back on the uh, 30th because her phone's busted to hell. Now we definitely need curtains. Someone gave me an email of a place um, uh, that we found used ones at and they're, they can ship them so I think uh, I think I'm gonna wait about a week and then see if they have new ones because it's gonna end up not much cheaper than brand uh, than the brand new ones. But what are you gonna do? You know they got you. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Take care and.